Hello, my friend. First off, this is a beautiful flower. For you, I actually got it. Um, I've been volunteering at the Fort Mason Community Garden for a gardener who has a plot. She's 81 years old and she's experiencing stage four cancer. And so I feel really thankful that uh, she found me and I'm able to help. So for two and a half hours today, I went and I weeded. Um, she was cutting off some of the flowers that were getting older for the bushes. So here you go. Um, so yeah, today I have a poem inspired by that. I have about one more week in the current location I am in, in San Francisco. And um, it's crazy because I spent the whole summer here and I learned a lot. And, you know, I think in, in terms of my expectations, I may have wanted more. But I think I'm learning something, something pretty beautiful, and that is the power of being at peace with where you are in life. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that I can continue to live a life where I am taking care of by taking care of others and I have a painting of the garden that I did with watercolor and of course on the other side I have a poem I wrote it upside down but you know what so it goes with life as it goes The poem is titled, I am at peace. I am at peace with the things I can't control, like getting old. Time will never freeze. It passes by like the breeze, only seen in the passing of leaves on the trees, heard by the rustling of the leaves. One day I will leave, and I don't know what, and I don't know how. All that is certain is that I'm here now. So I am at peace. Knowing these things with time passing through me, I am at peace. So here I sit and sing so in love with everything, regardless of the tests life will bring. I can sit here and be sure of one thing. I am at peace. My soul can rest. So, um, that was pretty much it. This is the very simple poem for those that might be uh, feeling a little bit restless with time. I think I've come to peace with where I am in life. For quite a while I felt kind of behind. I can't say that in the back of my mind, I still feel a little bit behind, but there's this more prominent feeling of understanding that I am exactly where I need to be in this moment, doing exactly what I should be doing. And because of this, I think it allows me to face whatever comes my way with a level of acceptance and understanding, okay, this is God's will. It shall be done. And if possible, just giving myself permission to have fun. And that looks like a lot of different things. I'm learning how to embrace failure more. learning how to enjoy the process of the unknown, of not knowing exactly how things are going to end up, uh, in 
enjoying the process of creating things for them to be realized in the moment and by literally being just present this is the best part about life it's a presence it's a presence it's a presence it's a presence it's about realizing that everything that you're doing has a season there is this time and a place for everything under the sun the wise man or the time or time and season everything under the sun you know what i mean and um if you don't do things in their season then they will spoil just like a fruit on a tree if you do not pick it in its time then it will rot so I'm learning that for myself and learning what that means. You know, there are certain things that I want to create in the world and I have the time right now to create them. And I have the energy right now to create them. I'm still learning. I think the big lesson and the thing that I want to learn for the rest of this year is how do I invite others to participate in this story, in this garden that I am planting? How can I participate? How can I invite them to participate in a way where they feel that sense of satisfaction and they can see the fruits of our labor? And so I think that's like a really big thing. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the poem and that you allow yourself to take a moment to just be with wherever you are in this life. Know that there is a purpose and a reason that things happen the way that they do. And that it's actually quite nice to be behind in life because there's no race. You are where you need to be. And those failures are just the best ways to learn and to grow. So, um, yeah, I appreciate you. I appreciate being alive. I appreciate this journey that we are on and we are sharing this human experience in this timeline. And um, for that, I will be forever grateful. Uh, with that being said, I don't know how to invite people to participate in this story and shared vision in terms of growing more gardens and allowing more people to feel a sense of responsibility and pride seeing the plants grow and how to do that exactly. So I'm very excited and thankful that I have the opportunity to explore that. That I'm not alone in that. It's really a shared experience and that I have you to participate in this story that's being created. So thank you so much. I appreciate you and I hope to see you in the next video. God bless. Namaste.